In this video, we will learn how to interpret the solutions of system of linear equations. Here you can see there's a graph with many different equations. Equations are graphed into this. These are all linear equations because it's all straight lines. They're asking us to state whether these equations are consistent or inconsistent. And then if it is independent and dependent. First, you need to understand consistent means having solutions. Solutions are there. No solution means no, not inconsistent, not consistent. Now, if it is consistent, if you see a solution in a graph like this, then it will either be independent or dependent. How we know what is what exactly? Now, it is very simple. I will draw some figures. If you have two sub parallel lines, they are separate, they never touch each other. That means it's no solutions. Now you have two lines which will intersect at a point. Then this is consistent because it is having a solution, consistent. And this is independent. Now how do you understand this is independent is? Because they will touch at one point and they'll never touch back. They'll go in their own ways. They're not dependent on each other. Only once they touch. Whereas imagine two lines are overlapping. They are the same lines. Okay, they're overlapping on each other. Then you have a solution. Every part is a solution. So it is consistent, but it is, uh, it is dependent, dependent on each other, dependent. So whenever you have same equations, they are equivalent equations, they are same lines basically. So each point is a solution. Then there are infinite solutions. So that is consistent, dependent. You need to memorize this. When they don't touch each other, there is no solution. When they touch only at one point, it's consistent and independent. And when they're overlapping, it's consistent and dependent. Now let's look at these two solutions, the equations. Y equals X minus one. Where is that? That's over here. And minus X plus one. Minus X plus one is over here. Let's look at this. This is over here and this is over here. They're touching at one point. The solution is over here this point and this is consistent independent but as the other equation x minus y equals minus 4 this is the line and y is equal to x plus 4 y is equal to x plus 4 you can see they are both the same lines right they are the same lines so they're overlapping on each other so it is this part consistent and dependent so that is the solutions over here and whenever there is consistent, independent, you will have one solution. So it's consistent, independent. Whereas consistent, dependent will have infinite solutions, infinite, infinitely many. And over here now, let's look at these equations, x plus 4. It is x plus 4, it's over here. And 2x minus 2y equals 2. Can you see these two? This is one equation which is already marked and this is the other one. Now they are parallel to each other. They will never touch each other because they are going in the same slope. They will never touch. It is no solutions. There is zero solutions over there. It's no solution over here. What about this equation? We can see it is y is equal to 2x minus 3. This is the equation. And this one, they touch at this point. There is one solution and it is consistent independent. It's no solution. Okay, if it's no solution, remember it is inconsistent. That is no solution. Now here was one. Now what if the graphs are not given? If graphs are given, it's easy to see and tell, right? But if graphs are not given, then let's use our calculators. Let's do this first. I'll come to the other equations later on. If you go to mode phi, you can see there are plenty of equations. The last one is cubic. This is quadratic. Powers are there. We have to see the first or second. But here, we do not have Z term. It's only two terms. So it is the first option. When we click on first option, they will allow us to type in the coefficients. Now, if you go back to mode phi, the first equation over here uses the standard form. If you write the standard form out, that is a n is like this. We do not need to write n. I'll just write a x plus b y equals c. n means 1, 1, 1. That is for the first equation. n for the second one is the second equation. 
So ignore that n. This is the standard form. Only equations in this form can be substituted. Now let's substitute this. It's already in the standard form. The coefficients are 4, then we have minus 6, and then we have 12. That's 1 and 2. And over here we have minus 2, 3, and minus 6. So the answer over here is infinite solution. But majority of your calculators will not give you this directly. If you have the latest model, yes, you get infinite solution. You can just tell over here the answer is infinite solutions. So it is consistent and dependent. But what if your calculator doesn't show you this and just gives a math error? Then in such cases, you need to simplify these equations. Then in such equations, then in such cases you need to simplify these equations it's a very simple method look here all you need to do is make these coefficients equal it's just that this is 4 it's easier to multiply the, uh, this minus 2 by minus 2 again I will get positive 4 isn't it it's easier to multiply rather than divide I have to divide minus 2 it's fine you can do anything let's solve it up what I'll do is I'll leave this equation as it is and I'll just multiply minus 2 throughout the terms. I have to multiply here, here and here and let's see what happens. I will get 4x. Yes, this is matching. Now let's see the other things. It will be minus 6y equals plus 12. Now compare these two equations. What is happening? They are literally the same, right? That means it's the same equation overlapping on each other. So it is infinite solutions and it's in, it is consistent. That is how we get these answers. Now the first one over here is not in the standard form, but don't worry. Just write it in terms of ax plus by equals c. So what I'll do is I'll take this to the other side. It'll be negative half x plus y is equal to 0 and negative x plus y is equal to 2. Now you have to type these a coefficient values in the calculator it will be negative half you can write 1 divided by 2 or you can write it as negative 0 0.5 it's fine and 1 and 0 over here it's minus 1 1 2 the answers are minus 4 and minus 2 we are not looking for the answers but we are getting a solution so there is one solution and it is independent and consistent so it's one solution one set x and y that is a coordinate point you get they'll intersect at one particular point x and y that is the solution we get over here that means one solution it is consistent and independent similarly please do solve the other problems but when it comes to no solution let me solve this up the same thing you need to use your calculator i've typed in all the coefficients and when i press equal to i get no solution but if your calculator is giving you a math error that's fine we have to use the same procedure what we did just a while ago for the infinite solutions. Try to make these two terms equal, the coefficients equal. So I'll just multiply this entire term by 2. It's going to be 4x plus 6y equals 20. Now compare these both equations. The first terms are same. The second terms are same. But it's only these numbers that are different. That means if I graph them, they are having two different y-intercepts. They have same slope, but different y-intercept. They are parallel lines. That means they will never touch each other. So they are inconsistent and no solution. This is the reason. But if they are absolutely same, over here we got the same equations, then they have infinite solutions. They are consistent, dependent. But you almost everything is same but the numbers do not match then there are no solution similarly please do the other problems by yourselves and here are the answers so that's the end of this topic a simple topic just be careful with the calculator you need to get it in the standard form and then you need to solve it up if you have any doubts please post them in the comments